Hey there, welcome to another video, welcome to another amazing build. Today I would like to show you how to use your regular GoPro camera, in my case the Hero 8, with a built-in time-lapse feature for great time-lapses of your 3D print. One of the key challenges in doing a proper time-lapse is to keep the same distance between the to-be-printed object and the camera. In the case of a 3D printer, where the print bed is always moving back and forth, this is kind of a challenge. So if you would place a camera right next to it, the distance would differ with each shot taken. However, if you attach the camera directly to the print bed, this is not an issue anymore. And this is what I did. I designed and 3D printed this rail, which is directly attached to the, to the print bed and allows me to attach the GoPro right onto it. So without further ado, let's get into the build and I will show you some details and also a time lapse in the end. Having installed the Creality PIE bed instead of the original glass bed allowed me using the pre-trilled glass bed holder holes. First taking some measurements for designing and then 3D printing the parts. Putting it into the slicer, setting the perimeter walls to 4 and the infill density to 25%. As a next step, I'm adding breaks in the print to enter the hex nuts into the print. And then a second break to enter the square nuts in the GoPro camera holder. Then sending it directly via Octoprint to the printer. First step, installing the original glass bed holders. Next step, installing the GoPro camera rail holder with M3 screws, which have 16 mm length. Using the mighty super glue to put together the portrait mode GoPro holder. This was printed in separate parts for easier 3D printing. To be able to fix the GoPro camera holder on the rail, I'm using M3 screws with 18mm length. Inserting the 12mm aluminium pipe, which is used at the rail for mounting the GoPro camera holders. Screwing the rail tightly in place with M3 16mm screws. Reapplying the PIE bed, installing the GoPro, and let's see it in action. Yeah, it is working. The GoPro takes awesome time lapses of your 3D print. However, there are some things to keep in mind. First of all, the GoPro has a certain focal length. So always place your to be printed object at the end of the bed to keep as much distance between the GoPro and the object. Also, think of the battery life. If you take time lapses of long prints, most likely the GoPro battery is not going to last. Therefore, I would recommend you to use an external power supply to power your GoPro. And keep in mind, remove the battery, because otherwise 
there will always be a certain stress on the battery. So what I'm doing is I'm opening the battery compartment of the GoPro. You can actually remove this section. I'm pulling out the battery, it's actually empty right now, and I'm directly attaching my power adapter to this camera. And then you can take time lapses as long as you want. Of course, there's also one major disadvantage to using a GoPro camera for your time lapses. And this is that the picture is not triggered on each layer change, but at a fixed point in time. I didn't find ways how to externally trigger the GoPro camera. If you know how to do it, please let me know in the comments. I would be very much interested. Another limitation, of course, is that you have to be able to attach your camera directly to the print bed. In my case, it was possible with the Creality CR6 SE. It is not a problem because you have built-in screw points in, in the print bed, which allowed me to attach this rail. I'm pretty sure it also works for other printers. You might have to adapt the the mounting part of the rail, how to put it onto the bed, or another way would be to use um, clamps to clamp to the bed and so you don't have to drill a hole into your bed. Yeah, so that's it. That's a small little project, a fun project, um, how to do proper time lapses with the GoPro camera attached directly to the print bed. You can download the files for free on Thanks. And of course, you will find the bill of materials and all details in the description of this video. And of course, I would very much appreciate your feedback in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And please let me know if you have improvement ideas. Yeah, so that's it for now. Stay tuned for more projects and talk to you soon. Bye.